wasn't my fault. The company has it set up that way. It's in my job description or not my job description. It's in the employee manual. Okay, so you want to make certain that it's not the company's fault. That's why we, we talked about that first, that it's not something you're doing. And in fact, I think what we determined in this instance that, yes, some of it's what you're doing and some of it's what they're doing. Okay, but the, the critical thing is, is if, if you sit down to reprimand an employee for non-production or whatever, and the company is at fault, even, you know, I don't say even partially, then that's not that's not a credible uh, management function in terms of, from the employee standpoint. They're not they're not going to believe it. Say, so, well, it's the company's fault. It's the company's fault. I can't do my job. Not mine. Or it's the company's fault. You know, they they hired me for this. And now they want me to do other things. And you know, going to pay me more or something like that. Okay. Um, so the the it's important to sort that out. But the delegate the the accountability is um, is how you determine whether the individual is doing their job or not. And also, you cannot accept the accountability if you're a manager on yourself. It has to be the employee. You cannot, you cannot let them maneuver you into a position where it's your problem. Because technically speaking, if it's not, if it's a productivity issue, it's the employee's problem. Ultimately, the manager's responsibility, but it's the employee's problem. Okay, does that make sense, Brenna? Okay, um, let's take a